Yo, hello everyone and welcome back again to a brand new video. Tailor your bot press chatbot to perfection in 2023 with our comprehensive customization tutorial. Into advanced techniques from modifying its appearance to adding personalized functionalities ensuring your chatbot aligns seamlessly with your goals. So guys, let's get started. Before we start with this video, make sure to watch it from now till the end so you have the full information. So the first thing guys that you'll have to do is to simply head up to barpress.com. So this is the URL of the website as you can see. Then you have to sign up or to sign in to your account. So here for example, I'm going to sign in to my account as you can see right in front of you. Now here on this page, what you'll have to do is to simply create a new bot or go to a new workspace. So here um, I am on my workspace, so I'm going to create a new bot so I can show you how you can make things from scratch. I'm going to delete some existing ones. So I can delete everything and I can make something customizable 100%. So here I am deleting them. And now I can simply head up to my default workspace and create a chatbot or create a bot through here. So here you can create a bot. So clicking in here, I will be able to create a chatbot as you can see. Now, the only thing that will be different is this bot is not published yet. I can get to logs, configuration, conversation, analytics, nothing here will be appeared. Why? Because this bot is not published yet as you can see, as you can see right in front of you. So simply click on this edit button and through this page we can customize our bot to be specifically working for our desired uh, things so for here as we are uh, just created our account we should choose this, the first template and then I'm going to create a new chat bot and let's wait a little bit okay here I'm going to rename it to for example tutorial save and here I'm going to click on edit and let's see if it's gonna help us and yep here it is so I'm going to close this page this we don't need it and now I'm going to use start from scratch because if we started from scratch we will have all the possibilities to work with <laughs> so now we have this page that it is basically some logic paths so for example if I made this a little bit better basically this is the emulator where you can test the code on the text so basically here we can send a message so it can be m and it will send them this bot is empty so now we have to work on it so basically i'm going to click here on this text box and i'm going to change this text in here so here i'm going to change that from this to hello everyone or hello mates friend and I'm going to copy this and paste it if you want or I can just add a new card text and I'm going to paste it here so it's gonna be hello friend and oh uh, no this one is gonna be uh, how are you doing so just like that um, I will bring it up here and look what will happen now so here once I type for example hello they will send me hello friend how are you doing so now let's customize it for your business for example let's say that you own an Instagram page and people are asking you for your store location so I'm going to change it to it so for example let's get a map here and let's make it random for example let's make it smaller um let's say that there is something in here oh there's only trees we need some kind of shop let's say that's your shop this is your school for example that you are promoting for i don't know if this is a school or not but yeah it, it is not a school definitely not a school i mean i don't know it is but yeah we can use as abbreviation so what I want is to add here is our location so I'm going to change this to add a card add a text and the text should have or include here it is our location 
and like that I must be able to add our location here so basically this cut is ignored because the previous transition will always catch the event so now I have to put it in here and basically now we can add other stuff so now here is our location is not enough we didn't send them the location are we going to send them like the link well this can be an option as well but we know we need it to be more professional so I'm going to add a card and this card will have the location and just like that I'm going to make it in the top here and the address should be here so insert variable we can add here the address so basically we can copy this address and I'm going to paste it here the title is gonna be this one and just like that we have added the location so now we just have to add it in the top and hello and let's see what's gonna be happening so here is our location and they have sent me like uh, the things oh no this is not what we need we need it to be, uh, wait, let me just change it. Yep, here it is. This is my bad. Um, we need to change this. Let me just go here and click on this one. Address must be this one, I think. I think like that it should be working. Hello. Let's try it out again. And let's see if it's going to work. So for now, it is still not working for some reasons um, let's try this out oh because we didn't change this tool basically you have to change this tool to actually manage to be specifically where it should be for example here uh, you should change it to be for example four or like depending on the location itself so there is so many details that you have to put in order to actually help you manage to get this coordination so here they are for example so you need these coordinations to be in there exactly which is pretty much hard for us to get but this is just an example on how to add your location you can add more than that guys so we can delete it you can start working for example with um, other stuff for example here you can give them a phone number so you can capture information just like that so a uh, question to ask the user and it should be the phone number so now hello uh, let me just uh, I didn't delete this one but finally it should be a phone number so I can click on it and here I waiting for user input so it should be waiting for our input before it goes to the end so zero seven something like that and here it is so here it is the answer and now they have done with this uh, with this uh, thing so now for example between the lines let's say that you want the spot between these two for example hello friend how are you doing before they get to ask them here is the location you want something in here to wait for the user to send something where here you can simply choose something from these uh, outputs in here so there is for example single choice uh, date, uh, date time waiting for user so we want here waiting for user and I'm going to add it right here so waiting for user I'm going to add it now and put it right here and just like that I have added waiting for user so once I send hello once more so let me just refresh that hello hello friend how are you doing so now they are using for user waiting for user input so good and look now they will go to here is our location so everything here is actually customizable depending on what you want and finally when you feel like you're done you can click on publish to publish this bot and just like that you have made your own bot on bot press from scratch so yeah guys with that being said that was it for today's video if you do have any more questions make sure to leave them down below and see you guys in the next tutorial